how do I communicate about sex? In this video, I'll be sharing with you some tips on sexual communication. This is Martha, I'm a clinical sexologist with a doctor in human sexuality, and I'm from Eros Coaching. That's erscoaching.com. How do you communicate about sex? When you're giving feedback to someone, you want to be very mindful about the tone. Okay, the tone. A lot of people don't speak up in the bedroom because they're afraid of losing that magical moment. They're afraid of hurting their partner emotionally by saying the wrong thing. As if speaking is going to break that magical spell. And when we're naked and touching each other, you can feel really vulnerable. So some of the ways in which you can communicate about touch has to do with the speed, how fast, how slow, the pressure, how hard, how soft, and the rhythm. And also the areas. And some people really don't know what they want when it comes to touch. And it's much easier to just start somewhere, make a good guess, and then from there, get feedback. And some of the questions you want to ask has to do with speed, pressure, and rhythm. For instance, you can ask, how's the pressure? Am I too hard? Would you like it faster? Would you like more? And open-ended questions would include, <clears throat> how is this? What would make it better? Is there anything else I can do for you? When we ask for feedback, we need to be in the place where we're feeling grounded, egoless, and ready to not take it personal. Some people take any feedback as if it's a criticism. And then what results is the partner is afraid to speak up. But if you want to have a relationship that is real, which means both of you are able to communicate with each other openly and honestly, you can model this for your partner. Maybe your partner is scared to speak up. So what I have found works very well is when I say some things along the lines of, don't worry, you're not going to hurt my feelings. I really want to know. Or just say, I really appreciate it if you tell me. Or, you know, I just want to be of service. I, I just want this session to be about you. So these are some of the words that you can put in to begin some kind of dialogue with regards to the kind of touch that you are giving or receiving. And for the receiver, you may want to be a little bit um, specific in the way you are giving feedback. If you're shy about giving feedback, you can just start by making some sounds. Mm. Pleasurable sounds. Okay. And then you can give words. For instance, that's good. That's, that's, you know, don't move. Don't move. It's so nice. So just, just start by making sounds and then just saying some words. And you may need to remind yourself to break habit because we get caught up in habit and then we don't speak out and then it's just easier to just keep quiet. To set an intention. I'm going to make one sound during this next session that I have with my partner. I'm going to say one word. I'm going to say good. And you can rehearse. Good. You can say so nice. Or you can say the person's name. Whatever his name is. <laughs> or her name is. And um, 
that's just to encourage your partner that they're on the right track. And that's, that's those sounds of pleasure is really encouraging. And so you may want to get feedback as well. You know, I made an effort to make a little bit of sound today. Did you notice? Do you like the way I'm, I'm trying to communicate with you? And then get more confident. And from there, become more explicit. Such as, don't move your hand. <laughs> Can I have more of that? Stay there. I really like what you're doing. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, just start a conversation. Be lighthearted about it. For me, sex is meant to be fun. Sex is wonderful, amazing, sacred, fun. If you make a decision not to be badly affected by sex, then, and you're lighthearted about it, and you're relaxed about it, then your partner feels that they have permission to be lighthearted and relaxed as well. When you explain the importance of communication and feedback, oh, sweetheart, I just want to know because I want to make things better. When you start saying things like that and you establish with your partner that it is important, let's make an effort. You don't have to be perfect. Let's try. Then things do get better over time. So I hope these little tips here and there will be useful to you. If you have more specific questions, then I can answer you more specifically. And so you can drop me an email at ask at And uh, this is Dr. Martha Tarali of Aeros Coaching.